hook is she? I left her directions on how to get here. This is great. Oh. This is great. Finally. Oh. Wow, it is a hot one out there today, Mrs. Green. Yes, it oh is. my goodness. Um, Mrs. Green, why are we in church? Well, I'm, I'm glad you finally showed up and found me. I left you directions, so but you got my, my directions on how to get here. It's Wilderness Wednesday. I we know. are supposed to be outside in the wilderness, and you left me these directions to church. Yeah. But you know what, Mrs. Green? I got really confused and turned around oh, how because come? you left all these arrows, but yep, guess see? what? Okay, so this looks up to you right now, right? Yep. Okay, let's go like this. <gasps> now Ooh. it's to the right. Oh. And if I go to this way, it's to the left. And if I flip it, it's down. And so it kind of was windy out back and the arrows got blown. I had no oh. idea which way that each arrow was going. And then when I got to this arrow, it looked like this arrow was pointing me back the other way. I, oh, I'm so glad you finally figured it out so though. Confused. I mean, it's, whew, you must have felt exactly like the Israelites had felt. Hmm. I mean, after all, they had been wandering in the wilderness for 40 years. I mean, Ooh. it's a long time. They probably felt days like you just felt on. I have no idea which way I'm going. But the good news is they made it. What do you mean they made it? They made it to the promised land. God had what? a land set aside for them and they made it. That's the next part of our story. That's where we're at. We got to the point where they made it. And it starts in Joshua where it talks about how the Israelites were allowed to go into this land that God had prepared for them. So all the stuff that they went through, they, they got rewarded in the end? They did. They did. Ten weeks ago, we began this whole journey yeah. with Moses as a baby. Mm -hmm. And we saw all how God had worked through Moses to save his people. And we saw how God had worked on Pharaoh to try to get him to change his mind and let the Israelites go. Yeah. And then we saw how God promised to take care of his people. Mm -hmm. And so no matter what happened... God was with them the entire way. He was leading them when we talked about the fire and the cloud. And we talked about manna and quail. And so when they were hungry, God gave them food. And then when they got thirsty, boom, God gave them water from the rock. And then we heard all about how God had given them a list of rules so that they would know exactly how they should live. Yeah, so I'm glad that the Israelites finally made it into the, the promised land. But... You had me meet you in church. Why yes. are we in church? I don't understand. Well, this week we're meeting in church because this week we are talking about our promised land. God has promised more for us than just this earthly life. Really? Yes. You know what, Mrs. Green? I think I know the way to our promised land. Oh, yeah? Yep. I think I know the way to heaven. Good. Are you ready for it? Yes. Okay. It is to bake chocolate chip cookies for Grandma and mm. take them to her. Ooh, that does sound delicious, but not going to get you into heaven, not going to get you into our promised land. Okay. Uh, oh, I know. I bet if I bring an extra large offering to church on Sunday mm. and put it in the offering plate, that will definitely get me into heaven. The church would definitely put that money to good use. There are so many different missions that we are supporting right now, but it's not going to get you into heaven. Okay. I wasn't hoping that this was the answer, but what if I mow my cranky neighbor's lawn for them? Mm, also a very nice thing that you can do, but it's not going to get you into heaven. There is only one possible way for us to get into our promised land, which is mm. heaven. And you said it's really simple. So simple. I don't know, Mrs. Green, I give up. Do you have any words of wisdom on how I can get into heaven? I do. In fact, we have been given the answer right here in our Bible. In John chapter 14, verse 6, it says, Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. It's that simple. Jesus is our way into the promised land. When Jesus died on the cross and took away our sins, he did everything that is needed for us to get into heaven someday. We don't have to do with anything except believe. That is it. It is that simple. Those things that you mentioned are yeah. all wonderful things that we can do. And we should do those things. We yeah. should do those things because through that, people know how much Jesus loves them and how much Jesus loves us. But it's not going to get you into heaven. In fact, the only thing that you have to do to get into heaven is just believe. Wow. So all those other things then will point to Jesus being the way, the truth, and the life. Mm -hmm. What is that that speaking, you were doing with your arms? Speaking of Mrs. Green, I have a song about the way, the truth, and the life. 
and I would love to sing it for you. Let's sing. Can we sing it together? Yes. All right, absolutely. campers, are you ready? So I need you to make a W with your fingers, a T like this, and a big L. All right, and then can you clap two times? All right, then when we, three. sorry, two times on two. I was just so excited that you did a good job. I was giving you the third one. Then you need to go way and pretend like you're going somewhere. Truth, like you know something in your brain, and the life, you need to grow. Okay, are you ready? We're gonna put it all together. Listen along, and then when you get it, join us, okay? Here we go. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. Without the way, there is no going. Without the truth, there is no knowing. Without the life, there is no growing. That's what Jesus said. That's what Jesus said. Now, campers, the point of this song is to get faster each time we do it. So are you ready to crank the speed a little bit? Let's Can you do keep it. up, Mrs. Green? I don't know, but I'm going right. to try. <laughs> Here we go. Let's crank it up a little faster. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. Without the way, there is no going. Without the truth, there is no knowing. Without the life, there is no growing. That's what Jesus said. That's what Jesus said. Okay, even faster. Here we go. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. Without the way, there is no going. Without the truth, there is no knowing. Without the life, there is no growing. That's what Jesus said. That's what Jesus said. All right, Mrs. Green, are you ready for supersonic Ooh, speed? I don't know. Okay, campers, take a breath. Here we go. Ready? Rank it up. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. Without the way, there is no going. Without the truth, there is no knowing. Without the life, there is no growing. That's what Jesus said. That's what Jesus said. Ooh, good job. Oh, my. I know, right? But now you know Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Absolutely. And campers, it has been so much fun going on this journey with you this summer. We hope that you got to know how much God loves you how much God promises to take care of you, and how much God promises to look after you, just like he did with the Israelites. They are a perfect example of how much God loves us and will promise to take care for us. So should we close in prayer one yep. last time? All right, let's pray, campers. Dear God, thank you so much for loving us, caring for us, and showing us the way to heaven. Lord, we thank you for this time that we spent together this summer looking at the Israelites and your love and care for them. Lord, we pray that we would always know exactly how much you love us and that through that love, Lord, we would be able to love others and show them the way to heaven. Because of Jesus' love for us, Lord, we look forward to one day reaching the promised land and being with you forever. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. One last time. Ready, Mrs. Green? Bye, campers. Bye, campers.